Perfect. We're going to have a quick chat with the Southland MP, Joseph Mooney, who carried out a skydive yesterday. Very interesting one. Hey, Joseph, thanks for joining us. Hey, good afternoon, Leanne. Yeah, Hello. Great to join you. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that you <laughs> chose yesterday for this uh, for this dive out of a plane, because today wouldn't have worked, <laughs> would it? <laughs> today would have been a tad colder, I think, just with the, uh, the snow fl- um, floating through the air. You'd be you'd be blown to uh, Stewart Island in, in this, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, probably would be, to be fair. Well, I think you're very brave. Now, what was it all about? Uh, I was trying to get uh, some more attention um, to an issue that we've uh, been trying to get the government to address for a long time. And, uh, you know, in my case, the last couple of years I've been in this role, I've written to the ministers a couple of times over the this issue, and the mayor uh, has been trying to get attention of uh, the government, uh, Salvation Army, been trying to get the attention of the government as, as of others. And it's around the accommodation supplement. So uh, a lot of the Wakatipi Basin is zoned rural uh, for the purpose of the accommodation supplement. Mm. Um, some areas aren't. And there's a big difference um, between those who are zoned rural and those who, uh, who is, um, are, are not. Uh, it's about, um, you, you lose about two thirds of the supplement you'd get so from roughly a little bit over 300 to um, just over $100 a week. Mm. Uh, and that makes a big difference, particularly to young families. And it, it's, it hasn't kept up with the growth of, you know, Lake Hayes, Shot Over Country, Hamley's mm. Farm, et cetera, yeah. which mm. is where a lot of young families live now. And um, But um, government just won't budge on it, won't, just won't address it. So we decided we'd try and do something to uh, get the government to pay some attention to it. So we'd um, jump into the plane. <laughs> a fairly radical <laughs> thing to do, hey, because you joined up with, with Jim Bolt, the outgoing mayor, and uh, and who is the the third jumper? Uh, Andrew Andrew Wilson, the uh, community director for the Police and Salvation Army. Well, I think you're all so mad. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> well, we're committed yeah. to the cause, right? We, oh. we, want, we want something done about this. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, good on you. And and so you dressed up as animals too, didn't you? Well, um, <laughs> actually, Andrew Wilson was dressed as, as a cow. Jim Bolt was dressed as a sheep. And uh, and the only suit you could find for me was um, was the shepherd, Joseph the shepherd. So oh, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> So you were the more modest, modestly uh, dressed. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and so you did this out at uh, in out Remarkable's way, did you? Yeah, yeah, end zone. Uh, mm. Yep. So we we um, jumped with them, and uh, mm. like it was it was pretty stunning to be fair. Sort of looking down to the uh, Remarkable's basin mm. and up up pretty high, and um, no, it was it was it was surprisingly warm too. I've got to say for what uh, what I thought could be a chilly morning. Yeah, and, was uh, it quite yeah, early? Great way, to, great way to kick the day off. Oh boy, it'd be a bit of a rush. Now, have you done this before? I, I have done. I've done a couple of skydives before in the past, um, mm. and oh, I've, I've actually done a bit of paragliding in the past as well. So it's not completely foreign experience for me. Yeah, that's right. You you knew what to do when they're giving you the drill. What about Jim? Has he skydived before? I, I think he may have done one before. Mm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but uh, but no, it, was a, it was a great way for Jim to uh, make a. The last statement in those last few days has been. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fantastic because I mean that's the thing. I suppose it felt probably quite um, therapeutic for him, quite cathartic, <laughs> you know, <laughs> leaving the ship. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know, a final, a final, a final touchdown and, and, and a touchdown in the style. It really was. I reckon. <laughs> who who had the best landing? Oh, I had to let the viewers judge that, but I look, Jim, Jim was, was, was impressive actually because he, he came in, um, yeah. landed beautifully and then straight to camera, you know, so, oh. uh, so you know, straight in the national live TV. Oh, <laughs> unreal. Like, it was quite well done. Yeah, very, yeah. very calm. Most people would be like, just give me a minute, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Y- you know. Yeah. And do you think, yeah. so you got, so there was a bit of publicity about this uh as soon as it happened kind of thing. I suppose there'll be photographs in the mountain scene in various places too where we can see see what you did. Yeah, there will be in uh, Target Daily Times published a, an article uh, this morning mm. which uh, which they've got online and there, there will be a bit more. And, you know, fundamentally, I, I, I really do genuinely hope the government um, pays some attention to this because there's been so many people trying to get the attention, their attention um and just nothing has shifted on it. And, you know, at a time when the cost of living is really biting people's back pocket, you know, this oh, sort yeah. of unfairness around this just makes even less sense. So, um, you mm, know, mm. W- 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 we don't have sheep anymore on, on this land. We actually have uh, fully grown suburbs mm. you know, in quite well-developed suburbs. So the government needs to address it.
Yeah, okay. So I guess, have you got any other uh, stunts in mind to um, further publicise it or will you will you leave it at that? <laughs> oh, well, the, 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 um, part of the purpose of this is to get people to um, take a look at the petition and sign it. So it's, yeah. um, it's called hashtag um, Peeps Not Sheeps. And you know you can you can look on Facebook on its Parliament web, website and there's a petition that uh, will be eventually presented. Um, well, I'll, I'll present it to Parliament uh, once we've got all the, enough signatures on it. Um, I mean you don't you don't need a lot of signatures to present a petition to Parliament, but uh, the more there are, the more support you can see um, for a particular issue. And so it would be great if more people can sign it. And mm. We can uh, put some um, pressure on the government and say, all right, here we are. People care about this. Sort it out. Mm. I think Shane was on air this morning on his station talking about this and saying that he could get, he, he would have been entitled to <laughs> next 150. So it's not a small amount that, that uh, of financial help that could really make the difference for some residents, wouldn't it, if, if they could a- access this? Oh, absolutely. It would make a really big difference. And look, I've had young families contact me who have um, had to move house for whatever reason and say franked them. And they, um, you know, they've had to move out to the shot of the country, mm. and then that's the only place they can find. And you know, they uh, it's almost two hundred dollars less a week they get, um, you know, for for the accommodation support just by moving, you know, five minutes mm. drive away. Uh, but because the, the regulation hasn't kept up with the reality on the ground that you know it's it's no longer a farm, it's actually a suburb. Um, you know, they lose out on a couple hundred dollars a week, which, which has a big impact on young families. Oh, totally. You know, and as you say, when you're paying kind of like, what, $8 for a bit of broccoli or something, it's, it's, not, it's, not, yeah. it's not easy. Uh, yeah, I, no, I, I no. hear you. We need exactly. the young families. This is a sad thing, like, because it's great when you go to these places and you see lots of, you know, families and, and children growing up and enjoying, you know, because gr- it is a great lifestyle to bring, bring up a family here. Um, Absolutely. But it's a bit disturbing when you hear of people, uh, you know, having to actually, they, 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 you know, they're up sticks and they can't afford to stay. And that's sad, you know. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm. No, and uh, it's, a, it's a crucial part of our community and having these young families um, here. I mean, they form a really important part of, of the sort of community ecosystem mm. um, from, you know, as well as the, you know, um, actually keeping the town running because we need, we need people, um, you know, to keep businesses running. Um, and you know, keep the services running, the teachers, the doctors, the nurses, you, know, you, you name it. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, we, look, it's, 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 uh, it's expensive to live in Queenstown. And yeah, people often think, oh, it's just the rich who live in Queenstown. Mm. No. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's a, mm. No, it really isn't. So, um, yeah, but uh, we, we do generally hope that the government does um, pay some attention to this. And, and people have also become more aware of the issue and uh, get them behind it and support uh, the petition. Mm. That'd be awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing... I haven't seen the photo of you as a shepherd, but I'm looking forward to seeing this, Joseph. I think you'd be very <laughs> fetching. <laughs> I don't know. It might look a bit silly, but, you know, we, we do what we've got to do. <laughs> what did, well, not as silly as Jim Bolt and as a sheep. <laughs> yeah, well, true, true. <laughs> I hope you will forgive me for saying that. But And what did your wife think? Oh, look, actually, she, she's done this. Uh, she, actually, my wife and my 11-year-old did this with me a couple of years ago. Oh, really? So, okay. Yeah. Well, you've been there, done that, yep. <laughs> from her perspective. Yeah, so she wasn't worried for yep. your safety or anything like that? No, no, no not at all. <laughs> she's just like, there he goes, off on another madcap yeah. adventure. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> crazy. Oh, well, I think, I think good on you. And tell me, where are you at the moment? Are you caught up in any bad weather where you are? Uh, I'm in Gore today, and it's... Right. Uh, it's been snowing for a lot of the morning, actually. It's, it's been one of those, one really? of those interesting <laughs> spring days. Yeah. <laughs> like, are we talking? Are we talking? You know, big flakes, Joseph. You know, ah, uh, you know, yep. It's been it's been enough to actually settle on cars and lots of um, shop shop fronts. Yeah. So it's um, yeah, it's not it's not you know, it's not building up on the streets in any any volume, but uh, it's been mm. a decent amount of snow. I tell you what, because well, we're expecting more tonight, and we've just had a big like sort of hail storm kind of come through here and uh, it's looking like it's turning so it's going to be an interesting day are you um are you headed back back home for this evening no i've got to shoot up to wellington actually i'm, I'm oh, on a uh, water catchment seminar uh tomorrow oh, right. but then, okay. I'll be, then i'll be back down uh, right. friday so. weather permitting <laughs> yeah. though i mean you might feel, weather permitting. <laughs> it might might be a tricky one you might have to um I don't know. Well, I mean, the, you know, I don't know about flights. I, I imagine a few might have been impacted, perhaps. I don't know. 
Yeah, well, we'll, mm. uh, we'll wait and see. Wait and see. Mm. Yeah, wait and see. Fingers Jolly crossed. Good. Fingers crossed. Well, thanks, Joseph, and congratulations on that jump, and uh, yeah, all the best for um, for your meetings in Gore. Awesome. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. Uh, the MP for Southland, Joseph Mooney, uh, great guy, and uh, just took part in a, a skydive with uh, Jim Bolt and uh, the Salvation Army Queenstown Community Ministries Director, Andrew Wilson. Uh, and this was all about this Peeps Not Sheeps campaign and petition to Parliament uh, pushing for a review of the Whakatipu's accommodation supplement zoning because people are missing out on assistance uh, with the boundaries having not been reviewed since 1992 uh, and they feel passionately about this. Uh, must be, what, Jim Bolt's last few days as mayor of this town. I think he's uh, he, he's scarpering as soon as uh, maybe on the day of the election actually. I think he's uh, headed to, uh, to the States. So, yeah, he'll be uh, counting down the minutes I'd imagine. Uh, what a way to go out, dressed as a sheep jumping from a plane over the Remarkables. Uh, take my hat off to you guys. I couldn't do it. Oh, no. No way.